Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel 10. Last video we discussed how to create orders and order item table and with we will store data inside a orders and order item. Now in this video we can continue, we can store like a discount, shipping ID, shipping charge and total amount in this video. So you can understand how we can cut the payment, what payment do you want to cut, how works discount code, suppose user can add a wrong, after we can check, suppose he can add a right, and after we can check, everything I will show you in this video. And also we can charge about shipping charge. So let's start now and I can show you step by step how we can do it. And I have one request, you are new in the channel or in this series, so please subscribe and please press the bell icon. So whatever content we are uploading, so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning. And also do you want to buy any script? So just go to errorsolutioncode.com and you can see it here is a new scripting available. <coughs> and do you want to work as a freelancer work? So just contact Telegram, WhatsApp, otherwise Skype. But we are always prefer Skype. So let's start now. So just go to app inside uh, HTTP controller inside you can see it like a payment controller payment controller inside we are creating new function place order suppose you are following the series so you can understand okay now you can see it everything here there okay so let's go to checkout page so you can see it, discount is not there shipping charge five dollar there so our main total is a one six five suppose you are choosing the deluxe so one six five main total suppose you are at a discount so let's go to discount code inside the tables so I can add a welcome okay this is the welcome discount code welcome sorry yes welcome one one so let's remove so I just make up only welcome so only I add a welcomes okay I just copy this name and I go to and I apply so you can see ten dollar is a welcome so now your total 160 after minus 150 150 plus 5 so 155 so inside database column like here you need to show 10 okay here discount code here is a shipping charge like a five dollar and remaining amount what is the remaining amount so is a 155 so we need to store like step by step uh, inside a database so let's start now first we can check shipping so just you can make here another query get shipping so just go to up and you can check where is the checkout so add to cart checkout so here you can check shipping charge model we have already did so just you can put here and here you can do get single <coughs> because of we are storing the id you can see it here just copy this name and you can put here okay now you are getting the shipping charge means the shipping data first of all we can get this data we need to go to resources inside views inside you can go to admin sorry not admin payments inside you can go to checkout.blade.php first of all we need to get our total what's the total over there so our total is there just scroll down so you can see it here cash on like this cart subtotal so this is the our payable total right now but we need to add a discount code we need to add a shipping charge all thing we need to do like total is equal to cart get subtotals okay so now we need to get the total about the get shipping so get shipping how we can add first we need to cut here discount code and once we can cut the discount code after we need to provide a like a our shipping charge so first of all we need to check discount code is uh, not empty so just we can make here condition if discount code is not empty okay discount code is not empty so it's going to inside so just we need to make another query suppose we are going to up and we can check like apply discount you to cut check out here you can see it like all thing apply discount you see it here so just copy this function and go scroll down and you can put here so you can see discount code check discount code and here is a discount code whatever pass suppose you can check last video so you can understand easily means like few video check discount how we can did apply discount you can see it we are checking the query code name is equal to name and expired date is a greater than today dates so you can see it we are getting the first record so record we are getting so we need to put here our discount code so just scroll up and you can copy this condition so you, you are see same thing we did here so just copy all thing okay and just go down and you can put here so what do you check 
first of all we need to check another condition if is not empty <coughs> discount code is not empty means we are getting some data so going to inside so we have checked like type is equal to amount so type is equal to amount so total means this is the totals minus percent amount means whatever payable so what is the payable total we have payable total now whatever there here is a payable total so just you can change here like payable total minus discount code means uh, whatever percentage amount we are getting this amount we are minusing so this is the payable total same thing you can do it here payable total payable total so here is the percentage so we are making like percentage divided by 100 so discount amount and uh, payable total minus discount amount so your payable total this one I can show you step by step don't worry okay let's make a DD here and let's save these files now I will fill the all the form but uh, we can fill, fill the form like a test test because of rules and regulation about uh, YouTube we don't want to fill any personal data here this is the reason so just I can type always test test after your decision you can type because you are not creating video this is the reason so, okay uh, and I just choose uh, cash on delivery I can choose the deluxe also I add a five dollar also I can add a welcome so we can make a discount code okay ten dollar you can see it here now place order so you can see 150 otherwise you can go to checkout let's go to another tab <coughs> another tab I can go so you can see it 160 now ten dollar discount so but I can type welcome before I already typed welcome so you can see ten dollar so now 150 you see so same thing you are getting 150 like payable amount now 150 so 10 dollar is a discount code so simply you can make discount code is equal to so discount amount is equal to zero okay so you can pass here discount amount like a new column discount code and just go to back again and here you can see discount amount just copy and you can put here discount amount and whatever variable do you want to use here so discount amount so you can put here also we need a discount code only validate discount code we need we don't need like a different discount code so simple go to up and here you can declare this variable and you can put inside here and you can make it is equal to this discount code okay so we know okay is a validate otherwise we don't want to make an inside entry so discount code work done and payable total so payable total we can make it here new 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 one we can do it and what is the name total amount so simple just copy and you can change here and you can pass here like a payable totals okay so you can see it like a discount amount discount code shipping id and total means total amount and payable amount so this is the done now what is the remaining remaining about we need to add here our shipping charge suppose you can choose like free delivery so we don't want to add suppose you choose like deluxe so we need to add so simple here total and payable amount first of all we need to get the shipping amount one minute let's go back up and we need to find out where is the shipping amount so just you can pass here dollar shipping amount is equal to is equal to get shipping if is not empty get shipping we need to check first table so we can go to shipping tables shipping charge tables and here is another column name there price so just copy and you can put here it's not empty so it's going inside otherwise we need to pass zero so now final total payable amount plus shipping amount payable amount plus payable amount and plus is a shipping amount and here you can change the variable name totals amount so we don't want to make a mistake total amount out to payable amount plus shipping amount and now shipping amount we need to pass also new column same thing we have passed about payable means total amount like this so just you can change so you can see it now let's save these files and we can check discount code amount everything working very well cannot working very well <coughs> sorry about that and here I can make die so no need to restart now okay so let's go back again and here you can see it so just press ctrl f5 and resend and now we can check is the new orders available inside order db 
so you hundred percent available so you can see it like user id not there all is a test 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 now you can see discount code 10 and discount code is a welcome and discount amount is 10 shipping chart 2 five dollars so you can see it payable amount like a 155 and payment method is equal to cash and payment data here not there because payment method is equal to cash so you can understand how we have made a calculation inside a place order so we can store inside orders i hope you have clear so next video i can do we need to make it like a is cash payment so automatic order placed and we need to redirect to cart list and we can do thank you for your orders and otherwise we can do it other things suppose you can do like paypal and stripe payment gateway why right? so we need to redirect to paypal website and suppose stripe so we can redirect to stripe i think need have two more videos so place order is a done i hope you have clear how to make a calculation inside a discount code payable total how to get shipping chart how to add inside a server side why I did like this because of we need to work as a discount code wise we don't want to work inside a hidden field inside checkout page otherwise the, we are already get here all the data but I don't want to take risk sometimes user make a spec element and change the record suppose here you can see so suppose I can work like this so he make a spec element and he can change here like a 140 and place the order you see like this so is our system is a hackable but we need to work always server side we don't want to work as a front side this reason i explain in one video all thing how to work calculation about place order means checkout suppose you are going to payment time so how to work calculation this is the here main reason i hope you have clear and do you have any question so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our error solution because we are doing lots of video but we need we are not getting enough subscriber please subscribe please share your with you share with your friend and he can start immediately new thing learning and thank you for watching error solutions